Live from the KATC TV3 studios, this is Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Good evening. Thanks for choosing Acadiana's News Channel at 6 o'clock. I'm Valerie Ponsetti. Downtown Lafayette is filled with tourists as well as those of you from here in Acadiana for the fourth night of Festival International. With it being the weekend, the festival traffic is hitting its peak, welcoming thousands of visitors from around the world and across the country. The diverse and unique lineup of international and local artists is known for drawing in some pretty big crowds. Even one woman who tells us she traveled more than a thousand miles just to see one artist. I came down here from Chicago to see Lisa LeBlanc last night on the TV5 stage. She's from New Brunswick and she is splendid. And as always, the festival offers activities for everyone in the family. Today, young festival goers had a chance to check out several different activities at the children's stage. And a few familiar faces from KATC were also out there to help out over at the Arts and Crafts tent. Organizers say the area is great for families to spend time together during festival. It's extremely important for Saint de Jeanne to be a part of Festival International. A lot of families um, get to come out to festival because we offer a space like this where they can spend some time away from the larger crowds and have some activities that are focused uh, on their children. Project Front Yard is cleaning up litter again, this time tackling Lafayette's collective front yard downtown. The group is collaborating with CGI and LUS Fiber for the Go Green initiative. They held a festival-wide trash mob and are encouraging all festival goers to use the recycling bins provided throughout downtown. Like whenever somebody throws trash instead of in a trash can on the ground, it makes the city look kind of bad because if people keep on throwing it, throwing trash on the ground, then it will possibly just keep on going until there's no more space left. If you need a ride to festival, shuttles will be running every night until 8 o'clock tomorrow. Buses will be riding to and from Cajun Field and the corner of Lee and Berry Streets downtown. The last bus will leave downtown at 10.30 tonight and start back up at 10.30 tomorrow morning. They will run every 15 minutes. And you can find out who's playing and when with the Festival International app. Along with the music lineup, it includes a list of special events and food vendors. The app is also a great way for you to keep track of the money you have on your wristbands. And don't forget to stay up to date with KATC's weather forecast on the side menu. And speaking of that weather, let's check in with meteorologist Eric Zernick. How's the weather looking for everyone over at Festival, Eric? It was just a fantastic day out there. Plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a very nice uh, evening as temperatures will slowly begin to fall once the sun goes down. We started off though today right around the mid 50s, so a cool start to our Saturday. We topped out officially at 82, so it is back to the 80s. A warm afternoon across Acadiana. Still hanging on the 80 right now here in Lafayette. We got some upper 70s across a good portion of Acadiana. We'll see those temperatures get into the upper 60s by 10 o'clock, so a very comfortable night. Maybe still want that slight jacket or sweater if you're going to stay out extra late this evening. Waking up tomorrow morning in the upper 50s and then another sun-filled day with temperatures getting even warmer, maybe pushing the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. So have that sunblock and sunscreen with you so you're not red heading back to work Monday. What can we expect though moving into the new work week? I'll have those details in just a little bit. Thanks, Eric. You actually have a chance to get to know some of the artists playing over at Festival International tonight. KTC is proud to sponsor the festival chat room at the Acadiana Center for the Arts. There you can learn more about the artists, backgrounds and influences in both French and English while listening to acoustic performances. The chat room will be open tonight until 715 and reopen tomorrow from noon until 6. Happening tomorrow, the Lafayette Science Museum will once again offer a free day at the museum in honor of all the festivities. Families can take part in the virtual reality lab, planetarium, and the new fiber optics exhibit. You can do all of that for free tomorrow from 1 until 6. <laughs> Festival International even has some pretty good options for athletes. Today, hundreds ran in the 2018 Career to Festival 5K. It was open to all age and brought in some pretty fierce competition. The course was good. Um, I ran it last year too, so I think that helped just like knowing when to finish, knowing when to push it. So, Well, it's always a fun time. Um, 
you know, no matter how many races I've run in, um, it's not always a first win each time. So it's as exciting every time it happens. And don't forget the money raised from the merchandise and those pins sold at Festival International helps keep it free for everyone. There are several tables where you can buy those goodies set up around downtown Lafayette. And while you're out